Christ, let us be grateful to God the Almighty for granting us this blessed moment to be with Him. The Eucharistic Lord is there to comfort us, is there to listen to us, is there to share our griefs. Is there to share our victories, our losses? It's the matter that I am aware of His presence. Being at our homes, the Lord is speaking to you at this moment. He wants you to know that He is there for you. He is always with you. He will strengthen you in your difficult moment. When others let you down, He is there to lift you up. At this moment, the Lord warns you to be mindful of the presence to be grateful to him to love him back 
as he loves you and me my dear friends as we are about to listen to the lord let us read the word of god let us listen to his message to us and let us try to purely concentrate on his love the reading taken from the holy gospel according to saint matthew now when jesus came into the district of caesarea philippi he asked his disciples who do men say that the son of man is and they said some say john the baptist others say elijah and others jeremiah or one of the prophets he said to them but who do you say that i am simon peter replied you are the christ the son of the living god and jesus answered him blessed are you simon bachona for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father who is in heaven my dear friends in jesus christ as we are in the presence of the eucharistic lord the lord who is asking you and me who do you say i am yes since our childhood we have been learning so many things about our religion about the person jesus christ when god asks you and me who do you say i am is that knowledge enough is that knowledge sufficient enough to give a convincing answer to the lord today in the society we see so many things happening which we even can't fathom whether god is allowing these things happen in our society where is god is god allowing these things happen these are some of the frequent questions that we come across my dear friends today as the lord asks you who do you say i am How are you going to give an answer being in this society facing all these troubles and challenges how are you going to answer him when so many people are going against the will of god and acting selfishly and when we too are tempted to act selfishly and to be adamant how am i going to answer to the question who do you say i am my dear friends this question was asked by jesus from peter and the other apostles these people were also human beings like you and me we know peter was a fisherman the apostles too were living ordinary lifestyles in that society but 
Peter's answer was different from the others. Others spoke what they heard. They, in fact, repeated what the society said about Jesus. We too, most of the time, repeat what we have heard from somewhere, from somebody. But can that be mine? Is that answer mine? Can I own it 100%? But looking at the answer of Peter, he didn't repeat what somebody said. He didn't try to make somebody's answer his own answer. But he came up with his own answer. My dear friends, if we take Peter, he was an ordinary man, a man who was doing well in the society, a fisherman, and when the Lord called him, at once he said yes and left his, all his things, all his achievements, left his job and followed Jesus. Truly, if we were there at that time, we would have seen Peter as a fool to go behind a man unknown to him by denying whatever he had, whatever he was doing, putting aside all his duties, responsibilities, he takes up the mission of an unknown man. And this is Peter. And this Peter was able to convince the Son of God in the question, who do you say I am? Peter also had his own struggles, his own weaknesses in his life. But his answer was convincing. The Lord took his answer seriously. My dear friends, as we are in the presence of the Eucharistic Lord, as he questions us, who do you say I am? We really need to know who I am first. Before giving an answer to Jesus, we must make the same question from ourselves. Who am I? What am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? What are my struggles? What are my weaknesses? What are my strengths in life? Unless and until I understand myself, I won't be able to be genuine in my answer to the Lord. I won't be able to answer Him wholeheartedly. If I try to cover up my own weaknesses, my own wrongdoings, my own guilt, I won't be able to convince the Lord. I won't be able to know the Lord. I won't be able to experience the Lord. 
all this will be useless for me if i do not know about myself before answering the question to the lord a difference let us take this moment as a graceful moment to build up our broken relationship with the lord to understand our fragility our weakness our downfalls and let us try to stand up with the lord let us try to depend on the lord let us try to gain that blessing from the lord as peter was blessed by the lord Let us try to be genuine before the Lord. Let us open ourselves before the Lord. Let us surrender ourselves to the Lord. He will be our master. He will be our guide. He is our life. Let us silently pray to the lord
of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation one of us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever 